Welcome back. A Progresso city leader and the school district's president will stay in jail for another five days. He pleaded not guilty after he was arrested and charged for his role in a drug trafficking ring. Our Lily Celeste is live outside the federal courthouse in Brownsville where he entered that plea earlier today. Lily, where do things stand now? That Progreso City employee and Progreso ISD school board president is still in federal custody tonight. He did have a detention hearing scheduled for today, but it was reset. However, he did have a chance to plead not guilty today to three federal drug trafficking charges. As we've reported, Alanis was arrested Friday when the DEA and Homeland Security searched his home and seized several vehicles. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Alanis is one of five others arrested in this case. One of them has already pleaded guilty. Progreso City Attorney Javier Villalobos says Progreso residents and school district parents have no reason to worry, assuring them school and city leaders would take care of any problems. Look, there's good administration. There's uh, there, they have good administration staff that can take care of the issues, whether it be in the city or in the school. Progreso will be okay. We've also reached out to Progreso ISD, but we're still waiting to hear back. Alanis is set to be back in court Tuesday morning, where his bond will be set. Live in Brownsville, Lily Celeste, Channel 5 News at 6.